You know, the big news, one of the big stories uh, in football this week is that the New York Jets have gone back to Zach Wilson as their starting quarterback, and he's going to be the starter the rest of the year now. Yeah. After the debacle with Boyle, the debacle with Simeon, they bring in Mark Rippon's nephew. He's 30 years old <laughs> and has never played. So it's now Zach Wilson's show. So we did a little research. You may or may not know this, but research? Zach Wilson was the second overall pick Correct. in the NFL draft. So we got to thinking, if you put together a Mount Rushmore of number twos mm. that didn't quite pan out, mm. what would your Mount Rushmore look like, okay? Okay. So the first entry on the Mount Rushmore of failed number twos is a friend of mine, so I hate doing this, and a friend of the show. Oh, no. Lousy softball player, my buddy Ryan Leaf. He's a good oh. softball player. No, you were there. Yeah. He's, he's not a good softball player. I went you for I was very disappointed in his ability to play softball. He's a big oh, fella. Yeah. Big he's fella. Big, 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 big fella. All right. Yeah. The second member of the Mount Rushmore of failed number twos is a guy that you're familiar oh, with, my man. Oh, God. Mr. No. Mitchell Trubisky. How you feeling, Willie? That's oh. right. How you you're, feeling, Willie? You're starting quarterback. Tonight. 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 <laughs> Come on. <laughs> So you say you don't have a lot of confidence. No, though, right? he stinks. Like, I haven't been very <laughs> honest with you. This guy, he, I want him to light it up tonight, by the way. Oh, he, he I light want it, him to be light it up. Amazing. What is light it up for Mitchell Trubisky? <laughs> I can tell you right now, nine. One touchdown. One touchdown. <laughs> one touchdown. Yards. Yeah, yeah. So that's lighting it up. Uh, All right. The third member of your failed number twos, the Mount Rushmore, is, of course, my guy. The starting quarterback of the New York Jets, oh, yeah. Mr. Zachary Wilson, Big who is now our starting quarterback. Being the Texans. Yeah. For the final five weeks, and denied yesterday that ridiculous report Again. that he told people, I don't want to play anymore. He's all in on playing. Right. So, the greatest number two oh, I, I of just, all time. Hey. Are you ready? Oh, what are we doing? Oh, I can see you that. Well, I can see <laughs> through the pixelation isn't pixelated. Hey. Um, yeah, not the best job by our art department. Man. But the greatest number two of all time is number two. <laughs> a of poop. The poop emoji is pretty sweet. Uh, or as Aaron Rodgers said, chicken poop. Right, right. <laughs> so, poop emoji. There yeah. you go. The Mount Rushmore. I'll take the poop over all three of failed number twos. <laughs> Ryan, Mitchell, Zachary, and a pile of poop. Yeah, that's <laughs> right tough. There, right there. Like, we, there's nobody else? That's well, it? We try to keep it just a football. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's uh... All right. From there, that's let's it. go over to Jacoby. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagle fans are upset with some of the offensive play calling, and he's got you at first in football. We have a big game this weekend between the Eagles and the Cowboys, and before the Eagles left for Dallas, these fans wanted to make sure that they got their message across. It says, run the ball. You need to be, yeah, to be honest, they do have a point, right? Yeah, I suppose it's what Willie yeah. and Plax were talking about all week this far, and I'm sure you're going to double down on yes, it sir, now. Yes, sir. We all acknowledge that whether it's Gainwell or DeAndre Swift, they have a great running attack, but you're kind of like the old Andy Reid days in Philly and now in Kansas City. They are reluctant to commit to running the ball until they've got a big lead late, and then they're very good at it. Yep. But uh, that has to be a part of their offensive game plan, right? Yeah, at the end of the day, this has been a thing all season. When you talk about what's wrong with the Eagles, like you said it yesterday, What's wrong with the Eagles? Is they're not quite right. What's the problem is they don't commit to the run early. They don't give guys the opportunity to get in rhythm. It's usually Jalen Hurts sitting in the pocket, dink and dunk and big plays down the field where they can try to get uh, plays or at least try to get in the end zone. But overall, man, they have to commit to the run game, but it and, starts in the first quarter. And it's funny. I remember you know, the week before the San Francisco game, we talked about Philly struggling a little bit. And in the second half of that game, what did they do? All of a sudden, DeAndre Swift yeah. got the ball in the Bills game, and it changed the entire dynamic Hi. of that game. What's really Interesting. This is what I'll say about Nick Sirianni that I do respect and like a great deal. So he is aware that those two guys were out there holding the sign that yeah. said run the ball. He had coffee sent out to him, Didn't and really? he goes, I totally appreciate their passion for what we do, and they're right. We need to run the ball more. Yeah. So I appreciate the fact that he was a good guy about it. Yo, know, he has a sense of humor, obviously, right. and sent those two guys coffee. Well, I mean, shout out to those two guys, but they were right. Against the Niners, they had the fewest rushing yards since December of yeah. 2018. And they, we always talk about this. We say, what's the Eagles' strength? Offensive line. Yeah. They can protect. We saw that. Jalen Hurts was sitting back there for six seconds, seven seconds sometimes. 
but the offensive line can also run block, and they need to use that. Yeah, and there's another part of it, too, that we're getting the weeds a little bit on. It's not just their failure to go to Swift often enough, or even Gainwell, yeah. who's really the, the second option from the running attack. It's the fact that Jalen Hurts did have an obscene amount of time in the pocket. Mm -hmm. And I can't, you can speak this better than me, obviously. I want to give San Francisco credit for their coverage downfield and obviously yeah. playing some kind of zone where he didn't try to run the ball. Mm -mm. And that's a big part of their game. You know, the guy ran for 600 yards point. last yeah. year. Yeah, he was sitting back there pointing around. And Remember, never he was ran. pointing at receivers. No, he and fifth never in the league run. in rushing. He averages four point a pop, like 4.7 so a pop. So that was also he, weird last year. It was weird, but was like Jalen Hurts, I think, was the leading rusher in the Niners game. was frustrating because if you're – first of all, it's a privilege to have an offensive line that can run the ball, right? Like that, that's sure. one. When you yeah. got big fellas up front who take pride in running the ball, on top of that, when you got a guy like DeAndre Swift, man, he's a home run back. You get yep. him to the second level, he can go yard. So the fact that you don't expose him and use him in that in that situations, in those situations, um, is troubling because the bottom line is if you want to make a run into the playoffs, you need a run game. By the way, you have a run game, so use the run game. And remember, Eagles went on Sunday night against Dallas. They win the division. It's a bigger game for Dallas because of that fact right yeah. there. Dallas has to win to keep their division hopes alive. So let's get to second down in football. The Bengals are interesting yeah. now. They play the Colts. Yeah. Browning played well on Monday night. How do you feel about Browning on the Bengals right now? Yeah, listen, I, it was such a surprise what he did, you know, last a couple days ago that I don't know what they are. Mm -hmm. I respect Zach Taylor saying we're going to run our offense. If Browning can do it, great. If not, we're going to go down trying to run our offense because we still have all these weapons, right? So we're not going to stop using them. And he's right. This is a big game for them because they are still alive. I know they're in last place by a game uh, in their own division, but for the wild card, they're right in it. And he's right. If you can beat Indy, Indy then is not going to win the division, which is on the table for them right now, meaning they're only going to get in as a wild card, and now you've got them beat if you have the same exact record. So these games are significant. Yep. They may not look good on paper because, oh, it's Jake Browning versus Gardner <laughs> Minshaw. But guess what? Minshaw's playing great. Yeah. Colts right there, two games over 500, of course. Uh, the Texans are breathing down their necks. So all these games matter. And when you start considering what Zach Taylor talked about, why can't we win? They got a backup quarterback. Yep. We got a yep. backup quarterback. Our backup quarterback put, what, a 34-burger on the table yep. uh, on Monday night. So we believe that we can run our offense. Now, he's not going to score 30 points every week. Obviously, it's not going to happen. But he doesn't have to. If they can just beat a team that's beatable, and then you look at their schedule. Their schedule. They got a shot. They could go four out of five. a couple more games. They could yes. go four out of five. I, I don't think they can go four out of they five. They could. But I don't think they're going to embarrass themselves against a backup quarterback in Minnesota, Dobbs, and it seems like, you know, the star's off his uh, chrome a little bit. Steelers don't have a quarterback. Uh, Kansas City is a game they can't win. And the five. Browns don't have a quarterback. So, yeah, the Bengals are alive and will be alive for another couple of weeks. You're right about that. But I, I think you hit it right on the head. I can't uh, – being a guy who played for the Pittsburgh Steelers and had a great number two in Byron Leftwich and Charlie Batch, that does wonders for your offense, especially from a confidence standpoint. When you got a guy back there who can step in and just be as normal as anybody. One quick note, uh, and we'll get into this more a little bit later on in the show. If you stop right now and take a boop, take a, like a boop, a little picture. That's a picture. Right, right. Boop, no, a little yeah, picture. Yeah. Boop, a little picture. <laughs> oh, a selfie. Boop. A little picture, One right? One more. <laughs> All right. Boop. A little oh, picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All oh, your eyes are closed. Take another no, one. Just... Boop. There you go. All right. And you, if the season ended today, just play this game for me for one second, all right? You've got seven teams in the playoffs. In the AFC, seven teams in the NFC. In the AFC, <laughs> I know what of, you're of the seven teams that would be playing playoff football today, I know what? You're say. you have Gardner Minshew. Ugh. You've got Mitch Joe Trubisky. Flacco, <laughs> you've got Mitchell Trubisky, <laughs> and you've got CJ Beathard. Yeah. <laughs> Those are four of the seven starting quarterbacks in the playoffs today. Yeah. <laughs> Josh Allen on the outside looking in. <laughs> <laughs> Josh yeah. Allen and CJ yeah. Stroud out. You yeah, know he had a fellow's got a quarterback problem. Right. Yeah, that's well, what you got right now. So it tells me that's not where we're going to end up in the AFC playoff yeah. picture. Now, in the NFC, you're talking about Jalen Hurts, Dak Prescott, you know, uh, Jordan Love. Brock Purdy. You got Brock Purdy. You know, you got, uh, you know, uh, Goff. You've got yeah. legitimate quarterbacks. It's just crazy that 
Four out of the seven quarterbacks in the AFC playoffs today are guys that you would never want playing and that wasn't, football for it was, you. It was wild. That wasn't the story in the beginning of the season, right? The, the AFC was glowing how they had yep. these masterful quarterbacks. Yeah. How they're going to light up the league. Herbert, Holmes. Well, I think you, know, you, you had Deshaun Watson, Aaron Anthony Rogers. Richardson, Kenny Pickett, Trevor Lawrence, and that's a pretty good assortment of quarterbacks, right? right? Now you got... Ugats. <laughs> it's rough. Yeah, Ugats. That's what the DeVito's out there. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.